see what they were fishing with? Clam bellies. Clam bellies, just like we... Uh... My name is Mark Picciarelli. Currently, I live in Swansea, Massachusetts, originally from Barrington, Rhode Island. Come on, Hesh. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying. <laughs> I have a beautiful 15-year-old daughter, Isabel, who's the love of my life. I have a big extended family, parents that live in Barrington. It really would be great for me to move back and be with the family. Rhode Island is known as the ocean state, and Barrington complements that tremendously well. It's a small town bordered by water. Absolutely wonderful public beach. You could boat, you could fish, you can kayak. East Bay bike path runs right through it. It's a very tight-knit community, very warm and friendly. Beautiful little town, beautiful architecture in the homes. It's got a nice old New England feel to it. Isabel and I are really excited to start looking at houses. We've recruited my older brother, David, to assist us in our journey. He generally tends to be the more sensible, calm type. He'd be a great sounding board for her and I. So what are you looking for in a property here in Barrington? Well, Isabel and I put together a little wish list, and I definitely want something cottagey, a bungalow-type space, two-bedroom, one bath. Kitchen's important. We do a lot of entertaining. Yard's important. How big of a lot? Are you looking for an oversized lot, or? No, nothing really big. You know, maybe anywhere between seven and, uh, you know, 20,000 square feet. OK, what about water proximity or water access? I'd love to be near a beach. OK, so if it's close to the beach, that would be good. Water access would be good. Well, to be honest with you, I'd love it to be waterfront. You want it to be waterfront. The big question is, how much are you willing to spend? With Isabel going to college soon. You're working uh, with a budget, I think. Yeah, bet. I'm working with a budget. So I'm trying to stay uh, at or below 315000 315000 Yeah. All right, well, I think I have some things that I want you to look at. We'll meet in a couple of days and start looking at some houses. Great, thanks so much. All right. So you had some time to talk? We did. What are you thinking? I'm thinking my mind is going on a mile a minute. What are your thoughts on Bay Spring Bungalow? I love Bay Spring Bungalow. Great property, great views of the bird sanctuary. It wasn't smack dab on the water. Just a short walk, though. Right. Great outside space, two different patios. Not a lot of work needed on the property. I like Hampton Meadows a lot. Now we're on the water there, great views, big property. The highway's right next to it. Yeah, the highway's right next to it. That was under budget, too, wasn't it? It was. I love Bay Breeze. The beach is only three blocks away. Property was great, and it was under budget as well, so. But at the price, you could probably do some updates and still just be three blocks from the beach. True. However, you don't have any water views. Yeah, that's big. Cove Cottage blew me away. The views blew me away. Small lot, though, over budget. The over budget aspect of it really scared me. I just had to get you in there, though, because it was updated. It had all the things you were looking at. I know it didn't have the outdoor space, but literally the cove was your backyard. Right. The cove did make it feel like a bigger piece of property. So I know there's pros and cons to each of the houses, but ultimately there's got to be one that probably best fits your lifestyle. Did you have one that just felt right to you? I need your help deciding on which one you know, we're going to buy. We're gonna... Well, you got one other option you haven't considered. That's moving back in with mom. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat. I hope you guys are hungry. Beautiful. I chose Cove Cottage because as soon as I walked through that door, the views were overwhelming. It was a little over our budget, but there's nothing that needs to be done to it. I knew there would be no surprises or hidden costs that I'd run into. I really feel like, in comparison to some of the properties in the area, that could probably be worth well over half a million dollars. I still feel it was a real great value.